What effect does exercise have on your microbiota? Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and you've likely heard something about the microbiota or the gut microbiota. Um, if you haven't, really briefly, the microbiota is this world of bacteria that live in our guts uh, and, and in many other cavities and surfaces of our body that we're discovering have an immense impact on our health and our overall well-being. And it's, it's an issue that I track very, very closely and we're even uh, in the process of uh, performing some clinical research on. Um, so it's something I have a high level of familiarity with, I'm very excited about. And also, unfortunately, because it's an area of interest right now, there's quite a bit of hype also circulating uh, along with it. And I'm um, writing a piece to help people discern what's uh, hype from what's actually something practical. And the exercise impact on your microbiota is a practical one. And this is why I really am very excited about this. So one of the things that it's important to do is, is have a healthy, uh, what we, again, what we call a microbiota, having a good, healthy, diverse array of bacteria in your gut. And um, they perform many uh, positive functions for us and therefore help to keep us healthy. However, sometimes the approaches advocated for maintaining a healthy microbiota are a bit out there, they're a bit excessive, and there's um, sometimes no real clinical research to show any uh, correlative benefit. So when I can find something practical, then that's something I, I really think there's a lot of value in. So what effect does exercise have on your microbiota? Well, there's still some that we have here to learn, but there's a few preliminary findings that I think um, make a whole lot of sense. So we know that when people exercise um, excessively, it causes immunosuppression and you can, you can have a higher chance of having the flu or a cold or getting sick or having an infection, okay? Um, so exercise is a little bit immunosuppressing. Now, if the dose of exercise is excessive, that can be such a high dose that it causes a negative reaction. However, because um, or, or however I should say, uh, if we use exercise in an appropriate dose, we can have a small amount of immunosuppression, which may actually be healthy. Because the other end of uh, the immune system here from immunosuppression would be overly aggressive immune function that can potentially cause an autoimmune attack or cause high levels of inflammation, which is something we want to try to protect against. So. Um, a paper was published recently, and I'll uh, put a link for the paper here and, and a, a quick screen overlay, that showed that exercise impacts these things called TLRs, or toll-like receptors. And these have a immune impact in the gut. And it seems that exercise downregulates these toll-like receptors and therefore has this positive impact on your immune system or it prevents your immune system from becoming overly aggressive, causing inflammation, causing potentially autoimmunity. Okay, so that's a mechanism study. And I really dislike only citing mechanism studies and not tying that in with something practical, like some sort of clinical trial or some sort of human observational study at least. So I've put in another link here to a human um, observational studies where they found that athletes um, actually had a more diverse microbiota than non-athletes. And the conclusion from this paper, albeit still a preliminary one, was that exercise is healthy for your microbiota. The diets weren't terribly different, so it doesn't appear that the diet made a big impact. Actually, the athletes ate more protein, which is classically not known to feed your microbiota. So it's very likely that the diet did not have an impact in this study, and it was just the fact that these elite athletes, compared to other healthy controls, were exercising more, and that was having a beneficial impact on their microbiota. This brings us to one of my overall pauses I'm starting to formulate as I've looked through an immense amount of the literature on the microbiota, fact-checked, and uh, tried to really come away with what the truth is in regard to the microbiota. And I think what we're going to start to find um, is that the environment is a very, very powerful input into your microbiota. And the things that you can do that will make you healthy, like exercise, eat a healthy diet, and manage your stress, are going to have a very favorable impact on your microbiota. So while the microbiota is very important, one of the best ways, potentially, in my initial um, 
inclination here is, is to think that the, one of the best ways to keep it healthy will be to keep yourself healthy. In this case, we see that exercise, at least from some of these preliminary findings, is shown to have a positive impact on your microbiota. As long as the exercise is not excessive. If the exercise is excessive, then I would speculate you may be at um, a higher risk for infections in your microbiota because you've uh, suppressed your immune system too much. A little bit of immunosuppression can be a good thing. It can prevent you from having an overzealous immune system and having high levels of inflammation, but an excessive dose may cause immunosuppression and subsequent infection. Anyway, this is Dr. Ruscio. I hope this information helps you get healthy and get back to your life. Thanks.